Hello folks and welcome back for some belated backpack battles. I was hor horrifically ill all of last week so I barely barely got to touch the last patch which introduced the new shovel recipe that digs up items. Quite cool but maybe a little bit uh maybe a little shaky in the early game potentially to try and make as it's made from a pan and a broom. It did some big shield changes amongst other things and now we are at a new patch day once again and this is a big one. Actually not many items added this time around, but it is a huge uh, kind of more experimental patch. In fact, I've got a little note here saying that like this, these changes are quite experimental and it's like we're looking to shake up some fundamental things. And uh, you know, it, that might screw class balance even further, but uh, it uh, is good to kind of test this stuff. So I'm, it's cool to see the devs experimenting, but uh, we've got things like the classes now start with Less items, but more bag space and more starting gold. So you can see you've now got an extra leather bag in addition to the coffin, but no dagger. And the ranger has no sword, but extra bag. And they both have more gold, so more diverse openings. And another really big and important change that goes with that is that rerolls get more expensive after three and nine rerolls. So after three rerolls, they go up to two gold per reroll. And after nine, I presume they go up to three. So that, I really like the idea of that change because it means that at a certain point you, when you're spending gold to reroll, and this is always true, you have to decide uh, to just make a build with what you've had access to rather than trying to dig for your perfect item for whatever it is build that you're trying to force. And that potentially happens earlier when you've got scaling up rerolls. Like you will seriously consider not rerolling more when you hit, when you hit three rerolls and instead making what you get. So that could result in more build diversity rather than people potentially forcing the same build each time. Um, it means you're not going to maybe just dig so many times for that third lightsaber or whatever, <laughs> but rather make something maybe a little different, experiment a bit more. And, and uh, I like that idea quite a lot. So that seems like a good change to me. And I'll be eager to feel out how both of these like early game changes and that reroll changes, how they feel in actual practice. So we've got the shovel to experiment with today, perhaps, and the new lump of coal item, which is an early socketable that you can get. A common socketable that has just one-time effects. Um, so it's not intended to be good, but rather intended to provide an early game socketable slash bag space filler. And maybe have a little bit of an influence on debuffs and stuff in particular, it seems. But we'll have a look at that. Let's go with the Reaper run first off the bat. I feel like I've been playing a lot of Ranger lately. Alright, so we get a coffin and a bag and just the fly agaric, but we start with 12 gold now on the Reaper. Oh wow, we got <laughs> some big sails here. So we got a sail hammer, which can be pretty strong early on, but may but is also very um, erratic. Uh, the 50-50 stun is yeah, yeah, sometimes making it 50-50 whether you win or not. <laughs> It also uh, costs a crap load of stamina and without some bananas or something can be quite hard to uh, actually maintain that stamina. Uh, so you can miss some swings on that and with the slot, like two second cooldown that can be a little painful. Um, we could go for the early shovel build and I haven't played around with the shovel much yet so we might do that I think. I think we might go for the early shovel so we'll do... We've got the broom and we've got a sail pan so that's kind of great. I like that. So the shovel is interesting, it takes a pan and a broom, but you'll notice that the pan is already 1 stamina and a broom is 0, 9, which means you will have stamina issues that round that you go to make that, which does make it a little bit fragile to make. And the shovel itself is an interesting item. It is not a particularly good weapon, but it does blind enemies quite a lot, and that can have some pretty decent effect. Uh, you can shut down some attack builds, especially with a pair of shovels, for example. And uh, it uh, is kind of the best economic item. <laughs> Every time you enter the shop, like how you get gold or a gem from the gem box, from uh, it digs up a random item. So that can be that can just be a rock, or it can be sand, or it can be gems, or it can be food. Typically, it's things like sand and stuff. And those are actually like digging up a lot of sand is actually quite powerful. Especially if you're like gonna get to transition into a lightsaber build or something like that. Or you could go like blind stacking fatigue reaper or something like that. So there's some interesting stuff there. Um, we could certainly take this rock and I could, I could lean into the sand <laughs> and take some sand here as well. Otherwise I could reroll and see whether 
we can secure some extra little advantages like some bit of extra food for example to make the pan a bit stronger here to win this first round. That might be the go given that we still have five golds. Wow. You feel like you can do so much round one now. I love it. I kind of like this change I think. But I think I'll go for the reroll and see if we can find like a garlic or something to stay alive. There's a banana which would be pretty big for the stamina this round. Hmm. That could be that could be rather interesting. So we could. I'm sure there's a way we can do this. Yeah, I think banana fly garrick seems pretty good. That gives us a little bit of extra stamina and healing for this round, and the stamina gives us an extra attack or two of these without missing. So that should work quite well, and a bit of extra damage on the pan, of course. So that seems like an okay round one. Not necessarily the strongest, but everyone's round ones are going to look fairly. A, a, a fair bit different now. I wonder how like dual sword whetstones are going to look on ranges now, whether that's like easy to pull off or harder. Interestingly we lost, but that's probably comes down to the extra damage from the food and the garlic armor. So it doesn't make not too big a surprise, like we had a bit of extra damage potential, but not that much more given that we ran out of stamina anyway. And they uh, they had the uh, the garlic for the extra armor, so not a big surprise to lose that one I suppose. But there's our shovel now, so from here on out that'll dig up stuff for us. And every time it hits it has a 60% chance of inflicting blind, great. So here's our coal. On, a, on attack it has 60% chance to deal plus one damage. So you can see that's not particularly good. <laughs> but it's an early socketable that you can buy without needing like box of riches. I remember when I first started playing this game and I was like thinking, I don't know if I love the box of riches because the idea of needing that to get access to gems, which seemed so fundamental, I drew issue with. But now we're getting crystals and gems and, like, and coal and tims and other things you can socket, which I like that trend. I like that trend of adding other socketables. They're not necessarily as good as some of the options. Well, like tims obviously very good, but <laughs> uh, they're not always as diverse as some of the options you can get from the box of riches, for example. So it still has a pretty big place, but uh, I like to see them expanding that and hopefully they add more socketables. And then if you put it in armor, you, at the start of the battle, so once, you gain three armor and resist one debuff. <laughs> so one stack of poison or one stack of slow or one stack of blind, you resist that. So obviously again, not very powerful, but it's something. <laughs> and then in the backpack, after three seconds, you gain a random buff and your opponent gains a random debuff. So that could be a stack of chill on your opponent and one mana for you, for example. So again, not very good, but it's something. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. It is obviously quite cheap. If you're buying them for two and resell and reselling them later for a loss of one, that's not that bad. I think in a way I wouldn't be surprised if this is them adding another item for the shovel to dig up because it's like a common earthy thing that it can dig up. So you get like rock, sand and coal most of the time and the occasional gem, the occasional food. Set up for some Christmas recipe. Yeah, maybe there'll be a Christmas stocking. We did do a Halloween recipe <laughs> or Halloween items with like the pumpkin and Tim. I still never got a pumpkin, eh? Like I never found a pumpkin. I played a ton of games, never found a pumpkin. It's crazy. Just uh, unlucky, I guess. It is pretty rare, but and they're uh, rarer now again. But uh, yeah, maybe we get some stockings and we can put some lumps of coal in them for... <laughs> you suck at the stocking with a lump of coal and it makes a recipe or something. It, su it summons Krampus, a new pet. <laughs> Stocking plus coal. <laughs> Summons Krampus. What do we got? We got a spiked shield. The spiked shield seems quite iffy at the moment. So if you missed it last week, they changed how shields work. So net shields now, so the black shield's better defensively now, but the spike part of it is kind of weird. Um, <laughs> it doesn't like synergize itself anymore. Oh, that's weird. So shields now mitigate flat damage. They don't provide shield. Funnily enough, I don't provide armor, I guess would be a better thing to call it. Um, instead, they just mitigate hard damage. So 35% chance of preventing five damage, for example, with this one. The other shields are similar. Um, which means that the shields can't produce armor to produce spikes for themselves. But it also means spikes only deal damage back to the attacker equal to the amount of up to like limited by the amount of damage they've dealt to you. So if they deal five damage and you have five spikes, you'll deal five damage back to them. If you have three spikes and they deal five damage, you'll do three back to them. If you have five spikes and they deal no damage, 
or one damage, you'll only deal no or one damage back to them. So with the shield blocking five damage from say a dagger attack, they will take no spikes damage in return. They'll deal no damage, so I guess th that's fine. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, spike shield now. Still, I wouldn't really be able to fit that, even if I did go that route. Mm, the box of riches seems like kind of a mistake, and the shovel can actually dig up more anyway. I'd rather like buy another bag and get another shovel going or something if I can. That would be kind of cool if we could manage that. And we can actually afford that here, but my stamina is going to be atrocious <laughs> doing this. Although it's like maybe we don't suck it at this round, but rather buy a garlic and chuck some rocks in. And then buy this next round, hopefully alongside a pan. I haven't really explored the uh, shovel opening. Two shovels is uh, interesting, but manageable with a banana. And that is a lot of blind on opponents, so we'll shut down some attack builds. Our opponent just has a shovel. And two garlics, so uh, they're producing a bit more armor, but yeah, it looks like a win for us. A little bit more rock damage for us there. And we dug up another rock, so getting our rock build rocking. <laughs> um, okay. I guess if we're going to commit to the double shovel attempt, which I'm kind of keen to try, we have to commit and actually get it. If I buy the founding pack, I could sell, I could reroll and sell stones and still be okay. So maybe I'll try that. There's the pan. So I just need to sell two stones to get the pan and we can do the combine. Can we fit them all? Let's see. I can't really like attach the food together this way. We ditch the agaric, I think, and just run the garlic. All right, this is likely going to be a lost round. <laughs> 2.6 stamina per second. Uh, oh my god. Uh, do I want to buy the one cost lump of coal? No, nah, too late anyway. Well, they're trying to do the same thing, so that's good for us. They, they'll have less stamina than us even. They don't even have a banana. So this might actually look good for us here. We may have lucked out here, although the heal from the Goobit could make a difference. We've got five stacks of poison on them. Oh yeah, nice. We should have this. <laughs> Fortunately, they were going for the same thing, so we got a uh, we got a win when maybe we shouldn't have. Yeah, double shovel. Here we go. Now we're at one point four, which a banana should handle quite well. Right. Looks like we dug up some, dug up some coal, so we'll have to decide what we want to do with that. But we've got a cheap bag here, which I like. Yeah, oh yeah, so another change I didn't even mention, um, but a big change here is that you get your class item around 7 now instead of around 8, so you get that class item a little earlier. It means you potentially need to decide what build you're going a little earlier though, which is tricky. Um, if I put this here and here, we can do this. Healing Hope does feel pretty strong ever since it's buff. I kind of like it. Let's just do that then. Seems like a decent board here, we'll see. So we've just got a pan with plenty of food buffs, so just pretty... Pretty normal stuff. Our blinds will have to do some work here for us, but you can see the uh, blinds indeed are stacking up. So we've got 20%, so they're down to 55. Make that, oh yeah, 55 with six blind stacks there. Poison stacking up. We got a little extra, I guess we got an extra blind or uh, poison off the lump of coal. Now yeah, looking pretty strong here. What's the uh, DPS of the shovels is not going to be particularly big, I don't imagine, but. <laughs> I am kind of curious how much damage they're putting out. 37 and 28. One of them must have missed an attack there, I'd say. That's something. That's something. That's all, competitive Competitive with their buffed pan, surprisingly. Two second cooldown versus 1.82, 8 to 9, 4 to 7. You know why that is? Because of the blind. <laughs> they got down to 40% accuracy. I just think the, uh, I think the uh, blinds are a big deal. But I did dig up a rock and a garlic from the looks of things. So we've got even more garlic now. We're going to need to uh, get more bag space. <laughs> Economically speaking, there's still only one coin each, which is the same as a piggy bank. Oh. Up to four gold. They can dig up to four gold items. Healing herbs or pan. They can dig up a pan, can they? Fairly sure I had one dig up a pan. Okay, and the horn. So anything up to four coins then, it seems. So that includes carrots, bananas. That includes most of the food then. I think I'm going to have to reroll. I need the bag space desperately. Oh, maybe I should... Oh, I should, probably should have bought that mana orb, though. I was thinking of doing that. And we have uh, a broom here that I could have turned into a <laughs> magic staff slash unhealing. 
So uh, we we still got maybe a couple rounds to benefit from the shovels before we really need to transition. So the extra fanny pack is a little tricky. I have to rotate the stamina sack, but that's probably worth it. We'll do that. So we'll take the stamina sack and pop in here. And the extra fanny pack there. Or, you know, maybe the other way around. Alright, uh, let's just give that round a go then. See what we- Oh, the coal! No, my coal! <laughs> it was hiding in my box! <laughs> oh, we lose one debuff on our opponent. <laughs> Good, that, if I lose in a very close game here, we'll know we could have won it if it had been for the coal. Still, with that blind stacking up, their pan is getting pretty useless pretty quickly. I do like blind stacking. For just like a fatigue build or something, eh? Like double shovel fatigue build seems actually good. You can just stay with that. Oh, I dug up a healing herb. So that's four gold, sell for two, but I, we actually totally use that. Wow. And sale price pestilence flask is probably quite worth buying too. Buy the sale price pestilence flask. Would we go for a stone skin potion? We do have the rocks for an upgrade. And that would give us two potions to feed into each other. We could have the, um, we could have the Pestilence Flux activate the Stone Skin Potion because we can't activate itself currently. But that means if our opponent heals at any point, we gain uh, the armor from that, and it triggers a, itself after that point because you, it triggers once, producing thirty, and then it, that causes it to trigger again. Actually, so I kind of like that. I kind of like that. We'll go that route. So I can sell a stone here to buy a third fanny pack. We do this like so, and we can make our stone skin potion. Yeah, the upgraded stone skin potion is pretty nice. It might be pretty worth getting. We can use it to buff the banana further, which is kind of needed. And uh, the mana to luck production can be a little, it'll be too slow initially. It does give us a few options for scaling mana. Hmm. Um, I think we might do that. See you, lump of coal. Now I can buff the banana a little further. I've got some thorn whips here. Mm, could be a little scary. We have our armor activation. The poison and armor activated immediately, producing a bunch of armor for us. And the banana can heal up behind that, which is good. So that gave us a nice little avenge at the start there. But our opponent is looking quite strong though. Thankfully, ooh, by the time they get through our armor though, the blind is ticked up. Only 50% accuracy. Ooh. <laughs> Shovel's doing their work, kicking some sand in their eyes. Yeah, and it only gets worse as time goes on. Yeah, I like it. Okay, cool. There's our upgraded stone skin. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Mr. Struggle's fatigue here. We seem to be pretty well oriented to just disable our opponent's build. And, uh... And let fatigue scale up. Yeah, it's either you, either you push for Bloodthorn or Vampirism with the healing herbs we have, because we have two of those, which is a pretty good baseline for the Hungry Blade slash Bloodthorn. Um, which Locklifter would be a good pickup then if we went that route. But uh, I think struggles. I want to try the struggles set up with this. I like the idea of blinding our opponents, and never letting them do anything. The only thing we're gonna struggle against <laughs> is other Mr. Struggle builds potentially, and poison build maybe. Even then we reflect some of those poisons, so... Mr. Struggles. <laughs> Mr. Shovels build. Get the banana on a Mr. Struggles? Yeah, I think we will want the banana on a Mr. Struggles. If we get the Agaric, it certainly leans into our build decently as a delaying build. Garrick's a bait. Poison becomes insignificant once you get your first crystal. Yeah, absolutely. The crystals are the are the real goal. Get me get some bag space. Well, I would have seen the Hungry Blade, funnily enough. Um, we could instead go for the health potion upgrade. And that gives us another way to upgrade to uh, unleash the stone skin potion. I like that. But I need some things. <laughs> I need some space. <laughs> okay. Stamina shouldn't be too much of an issue now, which is nice. Um, I don't love the eating the coffin, but it's maybe not that big a deal now, losing a couple poisons there. So let's sell this, probably the lo extra lump of coal we dug up. And then I want to upgrade the health potion and get the potion chain going. We're going to need a potion belt for sure. 
I mean, I could sell the Pestilence Flask. I don't really... Uh, I did just get that on sale. I don't necessarily need the Pestilence Flask. Yeah, I'm, I'm not scaling, the, so just getting free poison is not a big deal at all. I think I'll just sell that and get the health potion. Uh, I'm not pointing the gloves at two pairs of things, but they're on Mr. Struggles. Mr. Struggles is scaling the banana and the fly garrick. Got a pan with a bunch of potions from our opponent. This doesn't look too threatening. My poison stacks are... theirs are cleansed. We were pretty even, but they cleansed now and have a ton of extra survivability. So the question... they might just win in fatigue just to the extra amount of health and armor they have. And again... Oh, it was it was probably a tie then. <laughs> it was probably a tie. Thankfully their pan became useless towards the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they almost got came out ahead from the healing, but uh not quite. There we go, there's our upgraded health potion. So now we're really we're really looking to get corrupted crystals, um, speed up Mr. Struggles, and some decent armor and survivability. Corrupted crystals. What tier are they again? I wonder if customer card's worth. Probably not. Um, we have sand. We're going to keep the sand probably. We'll probably sell the rocks though. Box of riches isn't going to help me too, too much. I can like make the shovels a little, strip deep off, strip buffs off our opponents or speed them up a little bit. Um, and later when we get armor, we can get some nice stuff in the armor themselves. We kind of need bag space and armor, really. That's what we need. Once we get a piece of armor, preferably holy armor, that shows us up against Poison's builds. We uh, activate our stone skin ourselves. So we're looking for potions and armor, I think, predominantly. There's uh, another fanny pack. We'll probably take that so that we can uh, put Mr. Struggles in it. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Let me buy this and re-roll here. Oh, there's the holy armor we need. Ooh, the crystal. Never mind, we've got an option for up here now. <gasps> it would be worth redoing the bags a little bit to get the fanny pack on the crystal too. All right, so we got Mr. Struggles on a Corrupted Crystal. First of hopefully two soon. For fatigue damage scaling. And it's in the Fanny Pack as well. We just got some extra poison for now. It's not really a big deal, so not really using the other side that much. Uh, we're going to want to get some bags and Holy Armor next round, which might mean selling some garlics. Honestly, once we have the Holy Armor, we don't need them that much anyway. So the question is, do we want to throw in the Ripsaw Blade, trade off a shovel? I think that's a pretty good trade off. Let's try and get both of those next round. It might be a mistake to try and do both at once, but uh, I think once we sell off some of our other stuff we don't need so much, it might be a good idea. We really need a shield, we really need the armor. The Ripsaw Blade is a pretty nice to have. Not a must have, but a nice to have. We will lose some of our blind stacking, but it served us pretty well up to this point and given us a... Yeah, we actually are running out of stamina a bit, aren't we? Especially because these have gotten quite fast at 1.69. Damn, we're looking good. Right? Like, this is looking quite strong. <laughs> and don't forget, fatigue's been nerfed too. <laughs> what did our fatigue damage get to at the end there? Eh. Stupid scroll bar! <laughs> 16 damage at the end there. 136 total fatigue. It's looking good! <laughs> we dug up our first gem! <laughs> it took us a while. <laughs> and we dug up some coal. <laughs> Do we save the Ripsaw Blade for another round then, maybe? Maybe not. Where'd my sango? <laughs> Whoa! I sent it flying. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll give that a reserve and give that a go. That's a lot of stuff on reserve. We'll see how that plays out. We got some... Oh, this is the new uh, arrow layout. Whoa, that's weird, man. So instead of being a full line... I like the other one because it looked like a bow, though. <laughs> uh, so this is weird now. So it's got... Oh, you suddenly have to be a bit more creative with it. It's got star places for the crit around around it and then gems around it as well. Wild. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how I feel about it. That's something I really have to, would have to try. I think they nerfed the uh, luck gain on it too. I keep messing with the uh, layout of that, huh? Alright, we got some nasty damage right off the bat here from our opponent. Our blinds will stack quickly, which will help. Um, but they are gaining luck as well, which is counteracting the blinds. So they're down to 80%, which is pretty low, but they are doing a lot of burst damage. Thankfully our healing and armor is kicked in. They're still getting those big crits though, and they're still at 85, so... I think their luck is just outscaling a bit too hard there, and we weren't quite able to keep up. Yeah. If we had uh, swapped to a Ripsaw Blade, yeah, we wouldn't have even really been that much better off. 
Yeah, I, I think it wouldn't have wouldn't have made the difference. It looks like we we're pretty fated to lose that one. New armor feels great in my opinion. That's good to hear. I'm suddenly open to it. It's hard to just judge looking at it though. Two garlics for the dig ups. <laughs> okay. Hmm, we got some good options here. Even the cap of resilience is really good for this build. Something we definitely want. Avoiding crits and stuns and whatnot. And reduce damage taken at the start of the match while it gives us a chance to build up our blinds a bit more. What do we want here? I'm gonna be I'm gonna feel sad saying goodbye to a shovel though. <laughs> it's probably a good idea, though. I do suspect. And we also want to start getting to a point where we're digging for the extra crystal as well. Hopefully we don't suffer any more losses. Just two would be damn nice if we could manage to pull that off. So we'll go to the stamina sack and then sell the shovel for the ripsaw blade. Goodbye, shovel. I shall miss you. You've served me admirably. Shovel and ripsaw. Blinding, not as much, but still doing a lot there. I sold the wrong shovel. <laughs> Why? Why the wrong shovel? <laughs> that was your lucky shovel. No. <laughs> so we really need a shield and a potion belt. Those are probably some of the biggest things, but the helmet's certainly going to be real nice as well. Let's see. We're looking pretty good here. Our opponent strangely decided to put their struggles on the Ripsaw Blade instead of the extra Corrupted Crystal. I guess that works. Oh my lord! The extra... was it the extra um, fatigue that got us in the end, was it? 21 damage from fatigue and we were up to 17 damage. Wow! I got ahead just at the end there with the fatigue damage. Wild. Yeah, the extra Corrupted Crystal doing some work there. That's the, that's the thing, we should probably be more aggressively rolling for our second Corrupted Crystal. That makes a huge difference. Even without the uh, extra crystal on the Mr. Struggles. Dug up an extra rock, which we don't need. But we do want the potion belt, though. Hmm, I hope it's enough to not suffer any more losses here. We've had such a good run up to this point, but we've had a string of losses. A couple losses here in a row. We got two shovels from our opponent. Looks like they're upgrading some gems. Went for the early gem box there. Getting more blinds on us, but that's okay. It's not really a big deal. We're not looking to deal damage with attacks. Just the fact that we strip the occasional set of spikes is pretty good as well. Ooh, come on! What's going on, man? We're so close! Oh, honestly, how? I'm very surprised. It was pretty close in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, so a bit better healing, even though we had better damage. Not quite enough to offset their healing. Oh no! Hey, I dug up a healing herb though, that's quite nice. Well, I'm pretty sure I want this uh, cheap pineapple though. I'll take that. And I'll chuck this banana over here instead. Gonna get that. And then give us a reroll. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, and the, and the, uh, and the shield. Oh, the shield. <laughs> Can I just buy the shield here? Ooh. Come on, the shield would be big. I got slightly too hasty, but I think that was still probably the right order to do things in any way. I could sell the sand, or I could sell the healing herbs. Maybe the healing herbs. Healing herbs in our little baggy. Nice, that scales the stone skin and our holy armor there. Yeah, now we're talking. Great. Alright, that's a few key things. We still really need this extra corrupted crystal damage-wise. Now, so we're up against some lightsabers. Um, decent amount of damage here. Thankfully our helmet helps against a large part of the early burst. And our shield's gonna do absolute- we got that at the right time. Getting that shield here is a big, big deal. Prevents 10 damage from each hit. Still, they are kind of railing us pretty badly there. It's still looking iffy. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the blinds finally wore off. It was so late, though. It was so late, though. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. How long do the blinds last, man? Five seconds. Was that really five seconds? No, what? Oh, it's because they do them. They do them. Uh, it's They keep doing them now, don't they? Oh, I forgot about that. So they use three regen, inflict eight blind for five seconds, and they can only have one stack of that. And then that wears off and they can do it again. 
yeah, they can they can reapply. So they can only have one stack now, lightsabers, but then they can reapply. Oh damn! I we we had a build, but yeah, fell to the lightsabers here at the end. It looks like damn. Maybe digging for the corrupted crystal a little earlier could help. Getting it pushing for the shield a little bit more. Maybe I got distracted. I don't know if the ripsaw blade was super worth it in the end. Maybe rolling for the other things first might have been more important and just get a ripsaw blade like right at the end, like in in survival mode. Okay, let's try another run here. We'll, we'll go for some more shovel struggles action. But uh, let's see. Let's go for a reroll there. And we'll pick up the garlic. Could go for an early shield and reserve the. Oh, there's the broom there. Do we want to get the combine around one instead, maybe? Yeah, well, let's get, let's get the combine locked in then. There we go. All right, round one combine. Maybe you wanted to lock in the bag, because we probably want to buy it anyway. Well, we get a bit of space out of the combine. Opponent's doing similar thing, just slightly different food. Um, I don't know, 50-50? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty 50-50. Cheap banana's nice, I'll take that. Yoink. There's some small edge coming our way. Yeah, let's get the rock. Don't know that I want to go for a rock bag. I could. This is, this is what I mean. What do we what do we focus here? Seems having a four stack of healing and armor potions is pretty strong play. Yeah, definitely. And very competitive with like pushing for armors instead. Shovel has 60% chance to blind. It is a mediocre weapon. And then whenever you enter the shop, you dig up a random item. Up to four gold, apparently. I've only ever seen up to four gold. Value. I've gotten healing herbs with the best items I've gotten from it. It'd be cool if there's a rare chance of getting like a godly item or something. Uh, I think I'll reroll here. Pick up the extra bag space. We're gonna need it. And get the extra garlic. All right, just food and a shovel and a, and a rock. Got a hammer from our opponent. Oh, they got a stun on the first hit. 50-50. Hopefully they don't get any more. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I missed an attack from the stamina. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Picked up an extra garlic. I'll take that. There is a pan and shovel there. Oh, maybe I do have to go the double shovel. <laughs> All right, double shovel again. <laughs> double shovel again. What can I do? I was forced. It, the game twisted my arm, okay? <laughs> the game twisted my arm. <laughs> do I want to get... push for a bag here? Sell. Sell, sell. There we go. I went for it, and it paid off. Slightly better round this round. But it has a bit more sand, we have a bit more food. Stamina is going to be the same. They have the regen versus our extra armor. Hmm, pretty even. I'm going to call this one a 50-50. They've got a lot more blinds on me here, which could make the difference. Oof, nice. Just got the win off there. Dug up ourselves a rock. Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I like this. Hello there. I'll take you, and I'll take you. The food's in there. We have four coins. Hmm. If I can roll for a rock, that would be nice. There's a chance I roll and get nothing, though. Pretty good chance to get a rock right now, though. Otherwise, I can just get the piggy bank, which is not super amazing, but... Doable. I think I'm gonna gamble for the rock. Didn't get the rock, but we did get a fanny pack, so that's that's a that's a win anyway. I'll take that. Fanny pack also good. All right. Um, I feel stronger than this. We did we did get a little crit there from the broom though. Pretty nasty high roll crit on the broom. Double damage. Nice. Hmm, healing herbs, great. And purple, that's also good. Let's get the stamina sack. Gives us a few more hits. And I think we go for a reroll. 
Oh yeah, potion. Potion is very nice. Oh yeah, upgraded potion. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to preserve the bag space. We're pretty good right now. Oh wow, that's an early bloodthorn. Damn. All right, so we probably died to that earlier bloodthorn, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna do so much damage. Then again, they have the shovel and that is eating its stamina. <laughs> they just keep missing. We might be okay. Oh my lord, we actually win. Due to them running out of stamina and missing. Crazy. I guess you have to make sacrifices to get a blood thorn that early. Blue gem? We're actually digging up some gems to fill up our shovels. That's nice. Put you in there. That's good. And the blueberry I don't mind either. Pretty good. Ooh, okay. So now we can say... Armor... And we even have caps of resilience and stuff too. I'll get the armor. Could well tr reserve the cap of resilience. That might be worth reserving. Okay. Okay. This looks pretty decent here. And there's a couple upgraded. Are those upgraded? Yeah, those are both upgraded. Yeah, some nice healing potions from our opponent there. A couple blind stacks already though, so the Hungry Blade's not going to be very strong here. Um, they will cleanse any poisons that we give them. So it's just going to come down to fatigue, I suspect. The yeah, second potion hasn't hit yet, which I'm a bit iffy about. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, my potion's kicked in. Oh, looks like we're okay. Oh, no! What? <laughs> Scammed at the end! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> come on! Oh, no, what was the thing that did us in right at the end? Full damage from poison. I did have a lot of poison going. Yeah. They're upgraded potions versus... The amount of poison I was taking from them. Yeah, actually pretty nasty. Oh, Vampiress is on sale. Why couldn't it be why couldn't it be my struggles? Hmm, sapphires might be worth upgrading. I can put them in here to gain armor as well for now. Let's take our struggles. And we're probably gonna want the extra one of these. Going to need space for struggles. The you know, we might go double. I don't have a crystal yet, so we might just go double. Fanny pack for struggles. And put him on. Put him on the banana and maybe just this here. A very fast garlic. That might be the guy. Put you there for now. I'm gonna have a hard time fitting the hat in. Hmm. It was an iffy reserve on round seven. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the hats, but I think maybe I'm better off not keeping it and re rolling here. I just have to re-roll again. Potion belt. Nice. We might want the extra healing herb, but we will potentially also want this. Move blue gems into armor to combine. Do I want to combine them or do I want to sell them? Hmm. The economy is better if we don't combine them. Because you still sell them for one coin otherwise. If I get the extra healing herb, that sets me up for another health potion. And I don't need this strictly right now. I think I'll take the healing herb. I don't think I'll combine that. Maybe if I get some more gems. Alright, our opponent is trying to make a Bloodthorn, but uh, don't have it yet. We do have Claws of Attack that are synergized, but their stamina is going to be an issue. We don't have any shields to really punish them. There go our potions, hopefully to see us through to the end. It's getting a little close for a second, but it looks like we came through at the end there with the potions. Nice. Hey, there's our extra potion as well, which is great. So we'll make another strong health potion there. And still only one rock, huh? Shield of Valor is going to be potentially quite big. Hmm. We can use it to scale both stone skin potions and also the armor gain from the leather armor, as well as punishing stamina. I don't know that we get it now. We can get the second banana. Do I banana and roll for a bag? I have some garlic to sell, maybe. I don't know that we need the second banana. We're just staying with the shovels. It's not really that big a deal. Just like the stamina sacks on the one one we have might be enough. I think we skip the second banana. We're gonna need the space for the shield, so we'll get the uh, bags here. Even though it's not helping us much right now. It's a shame we haven't seen another rock yet. Do -do 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 -do. Double hungry blades with lock lifter from our opponent. I feel pretty confident about this one. Although we don't, we still haven't managed to get a corrupted crystal, so our fatigue scaling, our damage isn't really that good at all.
1.82 garlic when we get into fatigue. Still, we got him. Hmm, I'm surprised we got him so soon. I thought it would go longer in fatigue. Apparently I had some Carl in my <laughs> box. Like, I keep missing the Carl. It's quite just like hides in the corner there. <laughs> okay. Here's our shield. Oh, the stone skin pops right off the bat, so we could just do this. So, hold on, let me think for a sec. So we gain armor, stone skin pops, consumes health. That activates the health potion, healing it back up, giving us regen early on. That's pretty good. Then you want the armor to trigger an extra time from health? Kind of do. So it's, I guess it's whether the armor is worth the extra trigger on the health. You know, I think you're probably right that it's actually better to not get the extra armor, because it's what? 30 armor with 30%, that's what? Nine extra armor? Nine extra armor versus the extra activation from the stone skin. I think the activation is probably better. It's like our health is like maxed anyway right at the start there. Got a hero longsword and a spear with a piercing arrow. Shovel, but they're having some stamina issues. Well, they're looking pretty decent. Okay. I'm really hoping to get some purple crystals soon. Hey, I got a customer card. <laughs> cool. <laughs> crystals are pretty rare. The customer card might actually, might actually help us get them. No. We may want that. We don't have too many more rerolls before we start hitting increased cost scaling. Vampiric armor? Oh yeah, vampiric armor. Hmm. Do I have enough healing for the vampiric armor to be a good idea? Because sometimes it kind of screws you. Convert 30 health into 60 armor, gain 2 vampirism. And then every 3 seconds convert 10 health into 20 armor. What are we healing from though? Just the potions and uh, maybe a little bit of vampirism. I don't know. Holy armor is probably better for us, but I could make vampiric armor. Would have been nicer to do it this round, but <laughs> I bought the bag instead. Yeah, bag versus that. Yeah, I might have been better off getting the blood amulet. Call customer card. Another call that gets us the vampiric armor upgrade. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Swap the swap the shield and that. Yeah, I could swap the shield and that. That would actually work, wouldn't it? So just swap these around like this. That still scales there, and I can put this at the top. Yeah, good call. I never thought of that earlier. Cool. All right, we got some lightsaber with holy armor. Okay. Decently strong. They're gonna be stacking the blinds on us, but we don't care too much, thankfully. Our opponent now eats a crap load of blinds from where well, we got really lucky on the struggles. Prox, they got like eight stacks of blind there. It's pretty nice. Wow, perfect. We're just negating them. Negating them perfectly. Yep, struggles reflecting the blinds, meaning they can't capitalize on the extra damage they gain from it. Consuming their regen for no purpose. Beautiful. A thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. An extra potion belt, definitely. And another rock. Great. Suboptimally plays this for a round. Really though, I need to uh I need to roll for crystals. Hey, speak of. <laughs> Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm, would we want to try and fit a holy armor in? We actually probably have the space. Once this moves over, we have like space here. Psh, holy and vampiric armor? That'd be pretty hot. <laughs> I'll take it. Our opponent has two corrupted crystals. And they have a full complement of double belted potions there, so it's going to be a tough one. We have a lot more armor production than them. They don't have any blue gems or anything to punish us for that. But there goes their potions, and they've still got another potion stack there. Oof, I think we win it, but uh, oh, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> oh no, did they have a little bit more fatigue at the end there? 30 fatigue versus 24. Yeah, their fatigue was ramped up higher because the extra crystal. Yeah, that just made all the difference in the ends. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, hi! <laughs> yeah, hi! <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? We picked up an emerald. We might be better off selling a blue gem here to buy the holy armor. Oh, yeah. Um, we kind of want to rotate these, but we also want the shield to be touching the vampiric armor because it produces a lot of armor. Yeah? Of course. 
<laughs> it doesn't hit the stone skin potion, but that's be we're better off with this setup anyway, I think. Maybe I'll sell this to get this little baggie. So I can put this in here. The extra healing. <laughs> that's a lot of sand. Ooh, that's a heavily that's a heavily buffed lightsaber. So this is the other approach with shovel. You just like dig up a bunch of sand, buy a bunch of sand, and then get a lightsaber and have it be uh, heckin' buffed. Very buffed. And they've got a couple of blue gems in there to try and make it pierce armor too, so... If they get enough of those in sequence, they might just kill us behind our armor. We have a lot of armor for them to work through though. Thankfully, this is probably inconsistent enough that they'll miss and hit our armor a lot of the time. With those gigantic crits. Which will uh, hopefully see us to victory here. We will slowly give them some extra blind stacks. They don't have any blind cleanse. Oof. I think if they had better blue gems, we'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> we would be in a lot of trouble if they had better blue gems. And if we got unlucky as well. Now they're kind of having stamina issues, as that is pretty expensive stamina-wise. They'd probably be better off dropping the shovel at this point. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, woo! Our defenses are looking insane now. We are a little vulnerable to, uh... Yeah, to a good blue gem setup, though. But for that, we need better healing. I don't think we're set up for a lightsaber. We didn't pick, pick up any sands. One shovel isn't really enough to scale lightsaber, and we just have stamina issues. Yeah, I think we just want to... Yeah, the second crystal is the biggest thing. And we might just want to push for that. Well, there is the final potion, which would be good in our belt. That would be good in our belt. Rotate the holly, drop the garlic. Yeah, pop this next to this one. This next to the shield gets a little more, but we can get a better activation sequence here like this. So it might be worth the trade-off. I have a rock I can bank here. We totally can get rid of some garlics. I'll get this for flexibility. We need to roll for crystals though. Give me the crystal. That's the thing we need like above all else right now is the crystal. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Excellent. This could be a run. Ooh, dark saber and a bunch of demonic flasks. Kind of cool. Where are they getting all their debuffs from? Sand plus Cursed Dagger? That's cool. That's a cool build. I don't know. I can't judge how strong it'll be. Well, I guess we'll see in a moment. And they get a little bit of extra synergy off the pocket sands for their thing. They do seem to be having some stamina issues though. <laughs> how many debuffs are we rocking? A few. 20 something. We'll take a decent hit off these if we drop below 50. I don't know if we're going to drop below 50 though. <laughs> it looks like fatigue might uh, knock off our opponent before then. They just don't, they don't really have much in the way of healing. Big 40 damage crit though. I mean those things are scaled pretty hard. We do have a lot of blind stacks here. Ooh, man that scales pretty, that does scale pretty cool. <laughs> That's a cool one. Oh no, the big blast of potions almost finished me, but it was not quite enough. Yeah, when we drop below 50 and the potions hit in, we were okay, we got through. Yay, no survival! <laughs> Alright. Bit of sand, don't mind that. Another shield? Oh man. I mean, we have the two corrupted crystals. It could be time to drop a second shovel. I don't know, we still got five rounds. You know, we can just drop garlics in favor of a shield. That's a good trade-off, honestly. I kind of want the, we kind of want the shields to like multi-stack over here or something though. Second shield's maybe not worth it. We may find that was uh, not the right call, but we'll give it a go anyway. Second shield is scaling both armors. Decently happy with that. Poison's even a thing you care about? Not so much. That's why I'm not worried about the coffin now. Yeah, I think Shield of Valor is good enough to, to warrant that call, but... Whether it's better than like going for a book setup, maybe? This is a tough call. Okay. <laughs> Let's give that a go. We're gonna be pretty set against attack, most attack builds. Damn. Look at all this armor here, too. 300 armor. 20 stacks of blind each way, almost. They've got some Book of Light to cleanse the blinds we've dumped on them. Most of their blinds were temporary reflections from Mr. Struggles, which are now timed properly. 
So that actually would decay off Mr. Struggles against Lightsaber was a bit more of a hard counter before. We're looking good though. Their armor is decaying much faster than ours is. It looks like they've uh it looks like our fatigue damage is pretty even. So they've gone like fatigue lightsaber, kind of an interesting combo. Looks like pure, pure fatigue with a stronger defensive focus ended up winning though. We didn't care about all their blind stacks, or as they lost a lot of damage to being blinded by us. We dealt 560 to fatigue each way, perfectly even. They dealt 135 damage with their lightsaber, so it wasn't nothing. So we had a lot more defense in the end, but obviously that 135 was not enough. We must have had like 260 total value of defensive stuff that they didn't get to take advantage of. Even with another 60 from the Ruby Whelp and a bit more from Poison. Still not enough. More focused defensively seemed to work out better there. Um, here is another rock, so I can upgrade this, but I need the Berg supposed to do it. Hmm. I think if I take this, I can pop you in there. And I can put my rocks up here. And we'll just swap these around for now. Get another potion upgrade. That'll be great. Um, I'm thinking the uh, helmet is also a pretty good idea here. Resist one debuff, gain three armor. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Go one reroll here. See what we can get our hands on. Another stamina stack. I wonder if it'd be better to move Mr. Struggles over one. Because I could put both Corrupted Crystals in um, Funny Packs. Alright, that looks pretty good. So we sped up our Fatigue gain, which is kind of like the most important thing. Our opponent picked up an extra Corrupted Crystal though, which is a bit more powerful. They got a lot of potions. Not as much uh, other stuff going on though. And Jinx Tortilla. Tortilla, so Tortilla. <laughs> tortilla. <laughs> They've got, so they got a lot of extra fatigue scaling. Whereas we have a ton of extra defense. That's interesting. I, I, I get the feeling like we'll win it. Like their potions went off and didn't really make too much difference there. We still have a couple potions. Giving us a lot extra. Yeah, interesting. How, how much ahead did they get on fatigue? 31 versus... 37 from them. So they're only a few ticks ahead in the end, so they really didn't get that much extra fatigue out of that. So it doesn't seem like that was super worth it for them. Do I have mana production? I do! Actually, we go long enough that a blueberry will activate a Book of Light. That's pretty cool. Shops are even now, so we can just kind of roll as much as we want. We're basically just going to get some little bag spaces to jump and dump some more sand in at this point, I think. Swap sand with blueberry? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's poison versus faster activations for the book. Ah. Bunch of muchness, really. Alright, let's go. We're looking pretty good here. Ooh, we got a bloodthorn. Nasty looking bloodthorn set up. Good claws of attack. Two pineapples. A uh, few regen stacks, not a ton. Okay. Some big old hits there. Hoo -hoo -hoo, that's a lot of damage. Look at those crits just raining down on us. Oh mate, the armor is buckling a little bit under the under the wealth of crits we're receiving. <laughs> oh god. Hopefully our book kicks in soon. Oh, it's still a while away. Our potions bought us some more time. Fatigue's ramping. Oh no, book, come on. Oh no. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, a mana gain is a little too slow. A uh, a second blueberry would be pretty big. I don't know if we'd want to go to a mana orb. Or if we've got a mana orb, maybe we'd want a slow one. A little bit more mana regen to get us there a little faster would have saved us. Because then we would have blocked like two crits. Oh, there's the blueberry. Nice. <laughs> Great. Okay, second blueberry. We'll stop that from happening again, hopefully. We. I don't think we want the mana orb. Um, if we go the mana roll, we'll trigger too early, I think. The later trigger might be better. I can get like an extra space out of it, but it might not be worth. Hmm. I think that's not worth. Just roll again. These are worth though. So we can go... 7 debuffs inflicted. No, we're not going to do that much with it. We just want more fatigue with it, I think. So we just put it in the fanning pack there. I do need this extra blueberry though. It's worth dropping maybe the regen for it. Hopefully, I, 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 we don't want a second book, I don't think. Oh, here we go. Great. 
Yeah, that looks good. Do we have... We've got like one more small bag to get. Two rounds survive. Try another roll. Uh, we can get this. Speed those up. That looks good. Sell that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this, we could definitely sell the shovels now, actually. <laughs> I hadn't really thought of that. <laughs> Just taking the shovels all the way through. <laughs> I'm letting them see the end. They took us here. <laughs> okay. Looks like our opponent's immunity kicked in. Ours is going to kick in in a moment here. Looks like that's pretty good timing for our immunity to kick in there. Yeah, nice. We definitely couldn't go two books. We would need a mana orb for that. Or another two blueberries, basically. That looks good, though. Definitely an improvement. All sound. I'll take it. <laughs> they still, yeah, they still put some blinds on our opponent. I don't do nothing. But now, if we're going to sell one any at any point, it's probably now. <laughs> so it's just whether we see something that's better. I don't think, like, a fanfare is. Uh, okay, maybe, like, a bird might be better. And another crystal might also be better. So we, I think now we sell a shovel. That did most of that without much other changes. Bird and crystal seems pretty good here. Maybe I... Can get it right there. Put you back over here and put this one right... Oh no. It's probably better there. Oh man. Cracked. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need, really. The only thing we could reroll for. Mm, nah, there's not really even anything that we care about. Just reroll for fun's for fun's sake. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess another crystal. <laughs> Potentially. We probably wouldn't have been able to afford it if it had come up, though. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Pandemonium, Ripsaw Blade, lots of defenses and food. I think we got this covered. We should be able to out-fatigue a build like this pretty comfortably. It is a fatigue build with three crystals. We have the four, and now they're being sped up. There goes our immunity, or goes our opponent's immunity. Immunity doesn't matter as much in a Fatigue Mirror match, but... <laughs> Look at that damage! Now Fatigue got up to uh, 37 there, and the match didn't even go on for long enough to really ramp it much further, but... Oh, that was looking good. So yeah, I definitely think Double Shovel, or at least one Shovel into Fatigue, seems like a very good pairing to me. Um, they can dig up Sands, which can really help you in your Fatigue setups and dealing with a lot of different attack builds. They push your economy. And, uh, you know, when you're not really using your stamina for anything else, the fact that they're a kind of a meh weapon doesn't really matter that much. You can use them to get the blinds with. When and how you transition and stuff like that seems like there's a, bu a bunch of good options. But uh, it uh, is still something that I'm working out, but that was definitely a lot better there. Getting the good potions going, getting the good defensive items, getting your, sh getting your shields. I didn't regret the second shield in the end. Rounding out maybe with like a book and a couple of blueberries. Definitely seems crucial to get both your corrupted crystals online as soon as you can. But yeah, I think the just the combination of blinding plus economy works kind of perfectly in this. And as you've, as you've seen also, it can transition into other things like lightsabers and stuff like that pretty comfortably too. I think for a ranger, shovel into lightsaber is kind of what I like. Shovel, shovel into like nature build lightsaber. It, did, it digs up a lot of nature items, so you can go for the uh, the leaf and generate a ton of regen and mana and use that to your advantage to uh, scale with. And that looks pretty good for lightsabers. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <sighs> Struggles, the victim of repeated nerfs, but still looking very strong. <laughs> that was a good run. Took us a few, uh, a few attempts to kind of work out, to feel it out, how to do it smoothly. <laughs> I think that's pretty repeatable though. <laughs>